So I'm starting to get some little hints that springtime is right around the corner. So it's making me think about springtime wines. Uh, in particular, right now, we have our wine of the month, which is our South African Chenin Blanc, which totally reminds me of spring. It's this just really beautifully aromatic. You know, we use this term as sommeliers. It's kind of geeky. We talk about these different flavor compounds in wines. And this in particular has this compound known as terpenes, which is really aromatic. So anytime you get these wines that have a real perfumey quality to them, that's actually the chemical compound that you're smelling. And for me, this has this beautiful kind of aromas of like lilies, but also really great, bright, crisp acidity. So it's very clean and crisp and refreshing. Um, also lots of apple flavors, but more like these kind of golden, delicious apples. So another really classic springtime wine is Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, this is springtime in a glass right here. Mm, it's just so fresh and grassy and clean smelling. Really green uh, flavors and I'm green like, again, like grass, but also like green apple and green citrus and uh, a grapefruit. It's really zesty and zippy. And um, this is the kind of wine that also works really great with spring produce. All of that acidity and all of that crispness, if you match that up with things like, like fresh asparagus and baby lettuces, it's really a, a magical springtime combination. There's also a really great classic pairing of Sauvignon Blanc with fresh goat's milk cheese, which again, to me, is like springtime in your mouth. Um, another great springtime wine is Riesling. And Riesling's one of these wines that some people have this assumption that Riesling's going to be sweet. And it certainly can be. Ours is just slightly sweet. Uh, the term for that is off dry. And that means that it's not really dry, it's not really sweet. It, it's sweet almost like biting into a fresh Granny Smith apple. We get that really zesty, zippy acidity, but also a little bit of the sweetness from the fruit. And what I like about wines like this with just a tiny hint of sweetness is the way that they match with foods. Uh, they really bring out the flavors in, in all kinds of dishes, especially springtime fare. Riesling's actually one of my secret uh, favorite grapes. Another one that I really like is Viognier. Uh, a little bit fuller embodied, and uh, this is something that I kind of compare to Chardonnay in terms of its richness, but it's a lot more aromatic. This has some of those terpenes I was talking about that we find in the Chenin Blanc. In this case, wow, really pretty and perfumey and floral. There's like these aromas of like gardenia and jasmine, but with that it's also an incredible stone fruit flavor. Uh, Viognier to me always gives me flavors of like peaches and apricots. So a little bit more summery in its, in its flavor profile, but this totally gets me in the mood to hang out in the sun as well. And you know what? It is a beautiful day out there, so I'm gonna take my wine to go. Enjoy the spring.